welcome to the messenger I am here on our beautiful nature trail uh, I realized that I'm not sure how many of you have gotten a chance to come out here and there's so many good and wonderful happy things happening out here I just had to share them in fact an art class just came by they were um, doing an artist study the artist is uh, someone who uses natural um, elements in his art and so the first thing they were doing was a nature walk to look for the kinds of things they would love to include in their own artwork to emulate this particular artist so kindergarten is going to be having some fun there the other thing that is amazing that's out here is there's a story walk that miss Wynn, our uh, d-lab and steam director has put together the story walk is the story of the golden acorn and it's about Squirrel who is doing a race to get to the Golden Acorn but realizes along the way that uh, first of all you can't do anything without friends and second of all nothing is quite as fun as when your friends are there. So not only is it a story walk about friendship it's also a story walk that includes a lot of really great scientific um, uh, information around the squirrels and animals that live in this area of Texas. So when the students are out here with their teachers, they're reading a story and learning about nature at the same time. Finally, I am here on this beautiful altar and this uh, area where we have the Beatitudes. Mr. Jordan's religion classes last year um, in, well, first of all, in his religion classes period, they study the Beatitudes. Last year, they uh, created in the D-Lab these beautiful Beatitude uh, markers and this beautiful altar. This year, they finished them up and they came out and installed them. And so, not only is this place of, uh, an area of great beauty and of community for our children and learning, it's also a place of spirituality because that is who we are. We are all of these things combined together. And I just could not be happier that we have this beautiful nature trail for our use. So um, you're welcome at any time. And, and those Cyber Sabers, if you're at home and you wanna join and bring your mom and dad and um, come up here and have a nice nature walk, I hope that you will uh, take advantage of that and, and join us up here or on your own. We had a big week this week. Thank you for everyone to everyone for uh, listening in to our back to school night this week. Hopefully you learned a lot about how amazing your teachers are. Certainly they are incredible vid video makers and slideshow makers. I'm so impressed with the work they did. Please reach out to them if you have any questions. If you did not get a chance to see the back to school night uh, presentations this week, no worries. If you go on the resource tile of MySGCS, you will see uh, a tile that's titled Back to School Night, and there you will be able to see the videos as well as um, the thing links that have the teachers' uh, presentations on them. So please go ahead and look there. Um, this morning was our weekly mass. Seventh graders hosted, and they did such a beautiful job. I have watched these children grow from young ones now to almost the oldest in our school, and they did a phenomenal job this morning, and I was so proud of them. Next week, our fifth graders will host Mass, and we will get a chance to um, give them their long delayed pins because we were not able to do their pinning ceremony in the spring, so we will be able to share their uh, welcome to fifth grade and middle school pins for their um, blazers. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. Remember that if you are a middle school family, this is the last day for your the end of your two-week trial period for your election form, whether you want to remain uh, synchronous until the end of this quarter when you'll get a chance to decide again, or uh, if you want to change your mind um, you know, to come back or stay off, which, whichever is um, your choice. Today is the end of the middle school two-week trial period. Once again, everyone will get to re-elect at the end of the first quarter for the full second quarter and thereafter every quarter from there on. So uh, just so you know that those are the time frames that will be coming. Next week um, we have the Mother's Teas beginning. So we have three next week. They are virtual. We have fifth grade on Tuesday, pre-k on Thursday, and kindergarten on Friday. So we're looking forward to seeing you moms at those. Um, and we hope you'll get a chance to join us in the spirit of fellowship and community that those are so well known for. 
Um, finally, I just hope that you have a wonderful weekend. We are rolling here in the school year. It's been a wonderful week. You all have been incredible in um, your support and also your adherence to protocols at home as we are doing our best to do here. Um, it's been really wonderful to see the kids and how um, just self-aware they are as we go through this safely together. So thank you so much for all of that. Enjoy your weekend, this beautiful weather that we're having, and I will see you on Monday. And go Sabres! Oh.